Hey creeps, Cameron here for a very casual sit down update kind of video. I was going to do this, you know, big production like I usually do uh, for my Sunday videos, but I decided, you know what, I'm exhausted and I, I just don't have the energy for it this week and I'm kind of running out of time. So we're just going to talk about some things that I have been working on, some things that I have coming up. My last video was my Goosebumps Series 2000 and Goosebumps Presents book collection. And my first Goosebumps video did so well. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who uh, responded so well to that video and watched it and commented and gave it all the love. It got a lot of good feedback and it seemed like everybody was really excited to see the next part. So I rushed it and I got it done as quick as I could. And I posted it and I'm really proud of it. I think it turned out great. I love all the commercials and stuff. And I put a lot of effort into that video. The downside though is that I had complained to YouTube about something and I'm not going to go into the details of it. It's a kind of a long story, but it was not resolved and uh, they were just like, you know, sorry, too bad, so sad. And it was their goof up, but there's nothing they could do about it, they claimed. And then as soon as I posted my Goosebumps video, which all of my Goosebumps videos always perform really well here on my channel, it's kind of a safe bet that they're going to do really well. Instead, it tanked. Thank you to everybody who watched, for one, <laughs> because I'm lucky that anybody was able to even see the video in the first place, because I feel like YouTube is kind of punishing me for complaining or pointing out an error that they made. I don't know if YouTube actually has shadow banned me, but I've heard that this is a thing that whenever any creators complain, uh, their channel has a streak where it just does really, really poorly. And I'm kind of shocked because it's a Goosebumps video and everybody loves Goosebumps. It's not like what I do is all for the views or anything like that, but I do make my videos for my audience, for you guys to watch them and enjoy them. And if you're not seeing them in your subscription feeds, that's a problem. Anyway, just wanted to bring up that video and bring a little bit more attention to it because uh, it was a big production and I would like for people to enjoy it and be able to see it. But moving on to more positive things, I have an introduction featured in a brand new book. This is called Doors of Darkness. It's in a, an anthology with stories that all take place on the street of Fern Street and all of these houses on this street I have really dark histories, and that means that the stories are all kind of connected with one another, which is really cool. You know, I like interconnected anthologies. Uh, so I was asked to write the introduction for this, and my introduction is all about collecting vintage horror and uh, vintage horror paperback covers. So it was a lot of fun to write. I'm very proud to be a part of this book. I think it's really cool. You know, it's mass market size, so it's gonna go great with my vintage paperback collection and to be a part of it is just like a huge bonus. So if you haven't picked up a copy of this, I do recommend it. It's got some really stellar stories and uh, it's got great cover art. I also recommend picking up the Halloween issue of Bookworms Magazine. This is a horror zine that you can purchase on Etsy. There are only like nine copies left. There are less than 10, I will say. So if you want a copy of this, go jump on it because uh, this is your only chance. Once it sells out, it's gone. For instance, the first issue is sold out. You cannot get it anymore. So I'm really glad I ordered a copy of this. The second issue is still in stock. So if you go to order the Halloween one, I recommend adding this to your order. They're very cheap. It's like six dollars maybe five dollars these are throwbacks to you know old like 90s horror zines where it's uh you know that homemade effort but it's really cute and it has a great uh, great vintage aesthetic so i actually have a story in the halloween issue it's an autumn crow story it's called the McAllister family halloween special and it's kind of an ode to those Halloween specials that were on sitcoms in the 90s. So, you know, like uh, Roseanne and Home Improvement. So just wanted to let you know there are less than 10 copies. If you want it, you better go grab it. Another thing I'm looking forward to is that on Christmas Eve Eve, there is going to be a live stream over on Instagram. It's going to be a group of us and we're all going to be talking about Slumber Party by Christopher Pike. I actually just finished rereading this yesterday. So that way I can have my brain refreshed and I can talk about it on the live stream. Uh, like I said, it's going to be on Christmas Eve Eve, the day before Christmas Eve. Don't get confused. You can go to the Tales of Point Horror Book Club Instagram to find out more information and what 
time it's going to be in your time zone. I was also just yesterday back on the weekly Spooky podcast, which is, of course, hosted by my friend Enrique, who is awesome, and he decided to have me back on. We did a Halloween episode together, and then in this episode, we're talking about Christmas horror. So that should be up on my channel really soon, and it'll be up on all of his channels a little bit earlier than mine. So I recommend going and following him. And if you haven't seen our Halloween podcast episode, I do recommend going and listening to it. It was a really fun chat and I'll post the link up there. Now, another question I have been getting a lot is when am I going to post my uh, Autumn Crow High writing vlog? I've been talking about this writing vlog for a while. I am going to post it. I promise it'll happen, <laughs> but it's just a lot of editing and I need to, to actually get all of the footage organized because it's a mess on my hard drive. There's, I was filming two vlogs at one time and all of the footage is just mixed up together and I need to just sit down and organize all of the footage, which is going to be a pain in the ass. So the Autumn Crow High Fresh Hell writing vlog is coming and hopefully it'll have some good writing tips and some good things to say about the publishing process, the self-publishing process, which if you do have a copy of Autumn Crow High and you've read it, please, please don't forget to leave me a review on Goodreads and Amazon. That helps so much. Also, just adding the book to your wish list on Amazon is a huge help. It's a huge help to any indie author because when you add it to your wish list, it actually ranks on Amazon and you don't even have to buy it. It doesn't cost anything. You can just add it to any wish list and uh, that helps with your wish list ranking. So it's a little bonus thing that can really help. Autumn Crow High Fresh Hell, it's still available. You can go pick up a copy if you have it. There are also signed copies available, which a lot of people have been asking me about signed copies. And with how much I work and my video editing schedule, I just wasn't able to order that many copies, sign them, ship them all out, package them. So what I've done is collaborated with a local bookstore and I finally got my books at the bookstore. There's only five copies of Autumn Crow High and five copies of Autumn Crow. So if you want a signed copy, I recommend going to Browse Wild Books Facebook page and I'm gonna leave a link down below, you can go and shoot them a message and they will uh, arrange an order for you. Like I said, there's only five signed copies available there right now. So if you want one, you should probably jump on it quick. I don't know how long they're going to last. Same thing for Autumn Crow. I don't know how long they're going to be there. There are no hardcover copies of Fresh Hell yet because Amazon takes so long to ship them out. So long. It is frustrating. I have ordered five hardcover copies for myself and I ordered them a month ago and they're still not here. So very frustrating. What else? Um, Christmas is coming, <laughs> which does remind me I have a Christmas autumn crow story and I don't feel like a lot of people know this. Uh, it is available in Served Cold, a horror tube anthology, which you can get on Amazon. All proceeds go to charity which is awesome. And there's also a lot of really great stories in this book. Uh, the very first one is called Caracon Colos, and it is a, a Christmas autumn crow story. And it's one of my favorite things that I've written. When the book first came out, I was very excited to see everyone's reactions to the story. <laughs> it's been like two years and there's really not very many reviews of this book. So if you didn't know about it, there's an autumn crow Christmas story. And there's a lot of great stories in this book that are great to curl up with during the winter months. Christmas is approaching and we need reading material for it. I know I'm ready for Christmas. I'm ready to take a break. I'm ready to just take, you know, a week off of work and just chill and watch Christmas movies and eat sugar cookies. I'm so ready. I'm sure you guys are too. Anyway, thank you for watching this rambling low energy video. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> if you feel like you're missing out on videos this week, I do have over 200 videos over on my Patreon. You can join for as little as $2 a month. It's very cheap. So maybe you'd like to check it out. You don't have to, but it is there in case you do. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you to my patrons and I'll catch you in another hopefully more exciting episode of Library Macabre. Later creeps.